Channel. Where are we at, guys? Salt Lake. The bins? I don't care. Ah! Um, well, okay. <laughs> That was a firecracker. Set! Woo! Good job! <laughs> okay, here we go. We're walking in. Got my baby strapped on. My big boy. And a bonus child. Okay, we just got done in there. Freaking hot as balls. And especially with a mask on your face. Socks. I got mostly books. Um, and I got some clothes and shoes. I ended up leaving five pairs of shoes. Or five single shoes because I couldn't find the match. So that really sucked. I left behind several pairs of Uggs because they were just too worn. Um, I didn't find any of the brands that were like on my bolo list, but it was just like a little bit overwhelming, especially for the first time and packing three kids. Uh, so anyways, we did get a cart full and now we're going to go to Savers and Goodwill. I forgot to mention and I just washed, well put the hand sanitizer on my hand, but my one hand, I was using this hand to sort through and then using my other hand to hold my baby up because he's really heavy and it hurts my back. Um, but when I got out and I looked at my hand just now, my hand was literally black. So definitely wear gloves. Because of Gordon's closing, I got killer deals. I found a whole bunch of Miss Me jeans that were 50% off and then if you buy eight items or more then you get an additional 20% off so pretty much everything I bought was 50% off plus an additional 25% off so these Miss Me jeans ended up being $11 brand new with tax. Hold those, hold those up to your head. Oh my God. Here's all my bags. Okay, I have all of this to show you. Today is Friday, August, I don't know, 7th. So I went out for, well, I mean yesterday, and then I still have some treasure hunting to do from some yard sales today and tomorrow. So let's hurry and get through some of this before my husband comes home for lunch and before my baby wakes up. So first uh, first thing is this super cute little rocking chair. I got this at a yard sale for 10 bucks. It's like in excellent condition. It's perfect size for my little two-year-old. Even my eight-year-old was sitting in it. But the this color, I don't love this color. We have nothing in our house that's brown. So I'm probably going to paint it white or maybe like pink or purple for my little girl's room. But I just thought it was so cute. Couldn't pass that. Okay, now I'm using the rocking chair as a prop hold my phone up. So this bag is from the bins. So I got this Nine West purse. It's just like gray with yellow trim. And then it has some pockets and things in on the inside. So I just need to wipe it down. And it looks good. I didn't notice any rips or tears or like any wear or anything. So and then I got this little stuffed animal for my daughter. She loves like beanie boo things like this. So I wash that. And then I got this Victoria's Secret gray sport shirt. The size small. And then I got these boots. Um, they're Western Chief, so I don't know exactly much about that brand. But these look in excellent condition, like they've seriously never even been worn before. So I thought that was pretty good. Looks like my camera's a little dirty. Um, yeah, so it looks like they're brand new. Um, 
So, I don't know. don't know how much I'll get out of those, but they, they reminded me of like hunter boots or wellies or something. And then these brand new booties, these are Cupid brand. They're a size 9. I just thought they were super cute and perfect for fall. So. And then these boots are a size 8, so a perfect size. And then I got another little bag. I don't know. Didn't know how much to... I didn't really research this, and I don't know if it even has a brand name on it, but I just thought it was cute. And I love bags like this. I'm not a bag person, but I can do like a crossbody bag, something that's small like this. So I thought, if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it for myself. Um, and I also got these Cole Haan, like, ballerina slipper shoes. These reminded me of Teeks, but I know that Cole Haan is a good brand. I didn't really look up comps on these, and I need to clean the heels off. Because there is some wear there, but yeah, I thought they were super cute, and the sparkle is great, and they are a size 8, so also a great size. And then I got this little kid Carter's jacket, just like a wind rain jacket. Um, it's a size 6 for boys. This probably cost me, so at our Goodwill, or at our bins, it was like a dollar... 69 a pound, I think, so this probably cost me like 50 cents. Um, and then my son found this shirt. It's official MLB merchandise, so the Cardinals, just like a little jersey. It does have some snags in it, like right here, um, and kind of a little bit on the front, but still, even if I could just get a couple dollars out of this, this probably cost me 50 cents. Um, and then here's that other boot. And then this is Princess by Vera Wang. It's a size large. I just love this pattern. And it's like chiffon, so it's lightweight. And I thought this color and pattern was perfect for fall. Um, then I got this Victoria's Secret jacket. It's just plain, like, creamish colored gray. And then it says Victoria Sport down the sleeve. So. Uh, this is a size large, and it does have some, like, I'm guessing this is self-tanner marks on here, but I am just going to try, use my Phil's naphtha bar and try and get it out as best as I can. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. My kid must have thrown it in there. An old navy velvet jacket for a little girl, size 6. It was Daisy's. Before. Thanks, son. Thanks. Okay, and then I got this Old Navy dress, I'm guessing. Or maybe it's a tunic. It's a size extra large. But again, I just thought this was perfect for fall. This mustard yellow color, and then it has just like little daisy print on it. Um, and I thought this would be super cute, like with leggings or with a jean jacket over the top or a cardigan. This next bag is books. At our bins, the books are 59 cents a pound, and I got 22 pounds of books. So I told my kid and his friend, just find books that are little kid books and Christmas books that are in great condition. So this book doesn't even, I mean, it looks like it's barely been opened once because I can see a little bit of a crease, but Paw Patrol, Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue, um... Something about alligators. Okay, the next book is Santa Mouse and the Rat Deer. I'm going to do a bundle of Christmas books around Christmas time, just like if anybody wants to do 12 Days of Christmas with Christmas books or um, like a, a new Christmas book every day. So Nighty Night Little Green Monster, Merry Christmas, My Merry Christmas and the Real Reason for Christmas Joy. This is like a interactive book, so... You know, like that. Um, guess how much I love you. We have this book and it's a super cute one. And then Snuggle Up, Sleepy Little One. So I saw this at the very end. I didn't necessarily mean books like this because this is like part of the set, but whatever. I have a baby, so this this will be fine. Um, Angelina and Alice. Curious George Christmas. Go Away Big Green Monster, um, Winnie the Pooh, again, I didn't necessarily mean books like this, because this is part of a set, but whatever, um, 
Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? We love these books. Ten Little Easter Eggs. The Rainbow Fish. This is a popular one. Haven't read that in years. This used to be a book that I would read when I was a kid. Um, I didn't pick this up. One of the boys must have. They know my daughter loves Doc, so just this sticker book is for her. Um, one Grain of Sand. And Little Critter Storybook Collection. So this is like a thick board book. And then 102 Dalmatians. So this is Breaking Dawn. I've picked this up before and I've sold it. So I thought maybe I'll sell it again. So I picked it up again. Shiver Me Letters. This is like an ABC book. Um, again, not really what I meant. I didn't definitely didn't mean coloring books, but... Oh well. Okay, and then I have thought about this the whole way home on the drive. I should not have picked this up. <sighs> okay, it's The English Roses by Madonna, which I'm sure it's a cute book. I've heard lots of great things about it. But if you know anything about what's going on in the world today, I do not support Madonna, and I feel like this is bad juju to even have it in my house. So I think I might just end up redonating it and just getting rid of it altogether. Um, The Turkey Claws, this is, book is like just a scholastic book, it was probably a dollar from the book order, whatever, it's dirty, but I might keep this just for my kids. Um, again, not what I meant. Duck Duck Goose, I didn't look at these books that the boys threw in the cart, so. Cockadoodle Doo, Barnyard Hula Baloo, my kids love animals, so might keep that one. Um, Peter Rabbit's Christmas book. Um, a treasure for one-year-olds. Again, I have two little babies, so this is just like nursery rhymes. I'm a big sister. thought this would be fun for like a big sister kit or something like that. Um, the Night Before Kindergarten. Vintage Lady and the Tramp. It's a little beat up, but... Um... Again, not what I meant. The Lion King, read a story. This looks like it goes like with a book. Or I mean with like a tablet thing and then it reads it to you. And the last book I got is Pink Pony's Cookbook. It's got like a bunch of girly recipes inside, I guess. Got a little bit more. So I picked this up at one of our thrift stores. Um, it's just like a shadow box, a wooden shadow box by one of our local companies, Press Petals. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, they are still in business. Um, but it's just like a wooden shadow box that you can put a picture frame in or, or I mean a page or whatever. Um, and then, check these out, 90s kids. A whole lot of boys' brat dolls. And then it's got like clothes and accessories and things in there too. So there's six of them. So I'll probably just sell them all together. Um, and then again, this is from our local thrift, like a vintage. This is from 1983, uh, like a Raggedy Ann doll. And it just like is interactive learning. Um, and then I got two of these glass boots. Like a cup. So thought it was super cute. And then I got some Disney mugs. So that's it for my bins finds and like my thrifted finds. Now I have a bunch of RA to show you, which is retail arbitrage. So Give me one second to show you that. Okay, like I said, my last finds are RA, so retail arbitrage. So this store was going out of business, so everything was 50% off, and then if you bought eight items or more, then it was an additional 25% off. So I got this leopard cardigan. I thought it was perfect for fall. It's super cute, gray, and then it has black and like gold dish colored. Um, 
leopard spot. Just a good neutral there. Everybody loves leopard, right? And then this um, red tie-dye long sleeve crop top. It's like a, kind of like a waffle knit feel, almost like a thermal, like a long john. Thought that was super cute. Might keep that for myself if no one buys it. And I got two of these. It reminded me of Free People or like something at Anthropology or something just with the sleeves and then it's like waffle knit and has buttons in the tie. Um, and I got this tank top. It's a size extra small. It says at the lake getting tipsy. And um, the, the cardigan is a size large. This tie-dye long sleeve is a size large. This boho top. I have a, this one's a small, but I have another one right here that is a size medium. Oh, what the? Oh, it's just partially turned inside out, but yes, it's a size medium. Um, and then I picked up a whole bunch of Miss Me jeans too, so I got these. Um, these are a size 27, so I'm going to keep those for myself. Uh, but these retailed for $109.50 and I got them for $11. Um, and I also got these for myself. Just, I needed some shorts. I've lost a lot of weight after having my baby, so they're size 27. Um, and then some more Miss Me's. I picked up a lot of the same style, just different sizes. So these are 26. They're, they're a skinny jean fit. Um, more Miss Me's. These ones are size 29. Those are boot cut. These ones, these are size 28 and these are boot cut. Um, these ones are my favorite. Favorite. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute with white and pink stitching. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. These are a size 30, 30, 31. So these retail, these were designed exclusively for buckle and these retail for $104.50. Um, and just some more of these. These are a size 28. Those are skinny. And then some other silver jeans for me. I loved the raw hems, like in the kind of destroyed hems. They're just a light wash and just a nice skinny jean. And then I got two of these lace shirts. I just thought they're super pretty. You could wear like any color underneath it and like a denim jacket or something over it. So this is a medium. And I also got a small, oh, just kidding, it's a large. <laughs> Some more Miss Me's. These ones are size 26. And I got this really pretty Jessica Simpson dress. It's a size extra large, so it's just like got, it's like got tool sleeves with a tool overlay, but it is lined. And then the embroidery around it. Oh, I just thought the embroidery was so pretty in the colors. It's navy, pink, mint, and white. And then I got um, some Crocs booties. These are like water booties. Um, so yeah, these will be for sale. They're size 8. And the last bag, oh, I picked this up at a yard sale. It says, you have one minute. It's a coffee mug. And then I got some Nike socks. These are size uh, youth five through seven. Got two packs of those. And I got this Dolce Vita clutch. Oh, I love things like this. These are things that I can carry besides like an actual purse. And it has the wristlet on the inside. It's got a couple pockets. Can't really see that. Um, this I did get for my son. Thank you very much. Got this little hoodie for my daughter. It's human on it. We've had this before, just in a different size. 
And then I picked up some sweaters too. So it's super cute, just like a little crop top. So it's navy with these, like with the color block sleeve. This is a size medium. And then this. This one's a size extra large. And the same thing, but this one is a size medium. So that's all I got yesterday. At the store that was going out of business, I spent $164.60. And at Goodwill, I got 22 pounds of books, 12 pounds of clothes for $33.38. And yeah, and then this morning at the yard sale, I picked up this rocking chair for 10 bucks, this mug for 25 cents, and then I also got a Wii. And it has like a Wii Fit board, and I got that for 10 bucks. And then I got three Wii games, and they were $2 each. So now I have to get to taking pictures of all this stuff and measuring and writing it all down. And we're going out of town tomorrow. So while my husband's driving, I will be listing all of those things. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. While I'm putting this stuff back in the bags, I wanted to tell you that I also stopped at Sabres. Um, and I was not impressed at all. Like, I literally did not find one thing. Not one thing. In the whole entire store. And so, I was not impressed. And, um, even with their 50% off, the prices were still outrageous. Like, I could get something brand new for that price. Um, so I was just, like, going through looking at stuff just to see what they had. And some of the things that I thought, oh, I'll just look at that. Um, like $12.49 for a pair of nasty ass Converse and we had just got done at Ross and they had brand new Converse there for $19.99 so I was just shocked we didn't get a chance to go to a Goodwill store before it was time to head home so